Remember how a month ago I had stated that Zed will be coming to Windows? Well, guess what? It is officially here. Zed, the lightning fast, lightweight AI code editor is available for Windows and it has gotten a lot better since my last video. For those who do not know what Zed is, it's the next generation agentic AI code editor that's designed for high performance collaboration between humans and AI. Zed is built with Rust, which means that it is extremely fast, giving it a serious edge in performance and responsiveness. Honestly, it's way faster than most IDs I've tried. This is exactly the kind of tool I've been dying to try, and now that it's finally on Windows, I can finally do so. But here's the wild part. It comes with insane integrations right inside the editor, like Claude Code, as well as Gemini CLI, fully built in. With Cloud Code, it integrates directly into Zed, where you can generate, refractor, and review code in real time without ever leaving your editor. It honestly feels like a pair programmer that keeps you up to speed whenever you're working with code. And with Gemini CLI fully integrated, you're not just coding, you're orchestrating workflows, running tools, pulling in extensions, and feeding live documentation context, all while collaborating with AI at terminal speed. The best part is Gemini CLI has a free tier, so you can try it completely for free. But that's not all. ZAI packs features you don't typically see in other Agentic IDEs. It comes with the native debugger. It supports multi-language debugging right inside the editor. And you've also got things like Git integration, edit predictions, remote deployment, multi-buffer editing, and even an interactive programmer, all seamlessly built within. And of course, it also integrates all the expected agentic AI features like smart auto completion, you have an AI chat panel, and so much more. But alongside the release for Windows, there are a lot of other new small updates that have been introduced, which we'll cover and showcase how, what you can actually do with Zed afterwards. Start off with Zed being available on Windows. Rendering at 1 million pixels per millisecond is now available, where you can build from scratch within Zed. You can experience the fastest, most agentic AI code editor ever made. With this release, you also have it so that you can now view diffs for stashed work, a small but useful addition that makes version control smoother than ever before. Another neat feature is that Zed supports column and row spans for HTML tables inside the Markdown preview, making your tables look exactly how you intend without any extra work. Another neat feature is that Zed supports column and row spans for HTML tables inside the Markdown preview, making your tables look exactly how you intend without any extra work. There is now a remote browser debugger, and you can basically debug your web apps running in SSH or WSL by language Chrome directly on your local machine, which is making remote deployment way easier and smoother. Next is where Codex is now live within Zed. The most requested agent has been fully integrated within Zed and it performs really fast due to Zed's lightweight environment. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. These are just a handful of a couple of features that have been introduced. There's a lot more to this, so I highly recommend that you take a look at the change log. But now for the best part, Z for Windows, and now I can simply go ahead and install it by using this link that I'll leave in the description below and clicking on download. And now I can download the Z version for my Windows operating system, which will install the installer, and then I can proceed forward with the installation by clicking on this exe file. By the way, it's not only for Windows, you can also install it for Linux or for Mac OS. And there we go. We finally have Zed for Windows. And now what I can do is finish the setup by setting my theme and importing my settings from VS Code. And there we go. We now have Zed installed on our computer. Now, first things first, I want you to go ahead and sign up or log in with the account with Zed, which you can do completely for free. And you can either get started from a new file from scratch, or you can go ahead and you can open up a folder. On the bottom left, you have a couple of key features. You have the project panel, 
this is essentially where you can open up a project or you can clone a project by simply entering a project URL from GitHub and you can directly have it integrated within Zed. There is a Git panel and this is where you can manage all the Git repositories like the tracked and untracked files. You also have it so that you can get an outline of your overall code base. There's also a collab panel, and this is essentially where you can sign in with GitHub and you can work with your team in real time with collaborative editing, voice, as well as shared notes and so much more. There's a project wide search feature so you can search all the files so you can have it so that you can include a specific path, find and replace certain things, match something. And this is a really cool feature to work with a large code base to find the correct context that you're looking for. There's also language servers. These are servers with errors that you can track. You can restart all the servers or you can stop them all. There's also a project diagnostic. Now, just like we have these cool features on the left, on the right hand side, we have the AI features. If you are to click this agent panel, this is where you can access the Gentic AI agent of Zed. This is where you can work with the AI agent to accomplish any sort of task autonomously or as you work with the agent to develop anything. You have it so that you can select any model with the provider that you choose. You can have tools integrated. In this case, this is a model that doesn't have any tools supported. You also have it so that you can integrate external agents or you can work with the Z agent to do other sorts of things like adding a new thread to work with different agents asynchronously. But say if you want to work with Cloud Code, you can add that thread and you can first install it, which is what it's doing right now. And then you can work with Cloud Code directly within the Z editor. In the same manner, you can do that with Gemini as well as with the Codex. For example, I can give this task to create an interactive data dashboard that visualizes and summarizes the content of my uploaded Excel sheet with key metrics, charts, and filters. And then it will actually work on tackling this task. And you can see right here that it is asking if it can run a command. You can always allow this, you can allow this for every single time it asks you, or you can reject it based off of the prompt that it's trying to run. We're going to always allow this and it's going to work on executing the terminal command for us. And you can get a live preview of this as it works on generating this. Now, one thing that I can also do is if you click on this button, you can actually follow Claude code. This is where it's going to track the agent's location as it reads and edit files. So this way, if we click on this, it's going to work on showcasing a current preview of what it's tackling. And there we go. In about two minutes, it was able to create this data dashboard. And it looks pretty decent, in my opinion. It has the ability to load sample data, but you can obviously upload your own Excel file. And in this case, it's going to process the data. It's going to give you a good idea of the total rows, total columns, numeric columns, as well as the text column. You can then filter by different columns, the ID, the name, category. You can then filter by the value. And then you can create a bar chart, line chart, or a pie chart. So if I apply this feature, it will actually then give us a data visualization based off the filter by column that we had provided. And you can get a good idea of the data preview over here. But you can see how easy it was for me to use the agents within Zed to help me build something like this in less than two minutes. You also have the capability to implement other external agents inside Zed. And this is thanks to the agent client protocol, which is based inside Zed. And say if you want to work with an MCP server, you can definitely do so by adding the custom server through the JSON file. And say if you want to add extensions to enhance the Zed editor, you can head over to the extension store and you can add these external extensions that will make Zed even better. Now, like I had mentioned at the start, one of the biggest upgrades to Zed is its native debugger. And unlike many of the other editors that we've showcased, there's no actual reliable external tooling that can help you ship first-class debugging support. With Zed, you have it so that there's breakpoints, step through code, as well as the ability to inspect variables and track execution flows directly inside the editor. So this way you can actually find different errors and have it resolved all on its own with the AI. How it works is pretty interesting. If there is a code that you notice is faulty or there might be an error, you can simply go ahead and add a breakpoint. And essentially this breakpoint would be referred by the debugger within this panel where you can go ahead and start a new process where you can find the debug task and then you can provide that breakpoint to then have AI agents deployed to resolve it. 
And guys, remember, if you want to get a live preview of what's happening, you can click on this button so that you can actually see what Z agent is actually working on in terms of writing new code. You can have it visualized directly within the code editor. And obviously, this is a Gentec IDE, so you also have like autocomplete, you also have AI suggestions, and much more that you can easily implement. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord, where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on Zed and with this new integration with Windows. It is a lightning fast Rust built AI code editor that's a Gentic and it has a lot of great features that will definitely help you out whenever you're prototyping or just dealing with code. I'll leave all these links that I use in today's video in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.